McGuire's welcomes you to the car craziest half hour on television. Join us now as we mix it up with serious car enthusiasts from all walks of life, across America and around the world, and discover why so many of us have become car crazy. Hey, it's about the hood, the lines, the way your fender shines, I like the way your wheels turn, I'm a car crazy. However you describe your passion for cars, it transcends all geographic, economic, ethnic, age, and gender barriers. Car Crazy is your emotional connection with car lovers all over the world who you have nothing in common with except for this unexplainable passion for cars that every car enthusiast understands and feels to their very core. It's been called a contagious disease, and we want you to catch the bug, <laughs> if you haven't already. I love anything to do with engines. If, if a toothbrush had an engine, I'd have cleaner teeth. This is one of many cars you guys are going to keep seeing. There's a lot more to come, guys. Car crazy. I am now car crazy. Woohoo! <laughs> and now your host, Barry McGuire. Nominations were received throughout the year. And then 21 of our nation's most respected automotive journalists met together to select one of those nominees to be the winner of the 10th Annual McGuire's Award. And on this night each year, car guys of all types and descriptions from all over the country come together to celebrate their common love affair for cars and to honor their heroes. Always a grand celebration. Tonight, it is especially so. With a packed house at the world-famous Kodak Theater in Hollywood, California, the home of so many of the most prestigious awards programs in the world. Tonight we honor as treasures of the hobby, lowrider legends Julio and Fernando Reles for the extraordinary impact they have had on their segment of the car hobby. And Nellie Jackson, matriarch of the Barrett Jackson Collector Car Auction, the most famous of all collector car auctions. More than $15 million worth of cars are on display right here on Hollywood Boulevard, on the red carpet entering the Kodak Theater, and on stage. Most of all, we've gathered here tonight to honor Corky Coker as the 2004 Person of the Year for the Collector Car Hobby. For this episode of McGuire's Car Crazy, we'll be covering the pre-show activities taking place at the entrance of the Kodak Theater on Hollywood Boulevard. Some of the most fascinating personalities in the car hobby are right here. So if you love cars, you're going to love this show as we visit with a host of people who are, you guessed it, certifiable. Yeah, car, car crazy. crazy. George, you brought another one of your really cool cars to, for all of us to enjoy this evening. Well, I know they'd like to see something in red. That's why we wore red tonight. <laughs> and we brought David Lee Ross, California Girl 51 Customized Mercury, which is kind of exciting because the younger element, and us guys too, we kind of dig it. I know that. So it was enjoyable to have it come on over. You Last time it. I brought the Munster coach up for you That's at right. the Beverly Hills Hotel. That yeah. was another exciting that was, day. That was so much fun. We could hear it coming for blocks away. And so the whole crowd just stopped to watch you drive up that night. Great memories. Thank you very much. We're enjoying the, the, the night. Uh, the people you have here is astronomical. It's amazing. It's really and I'm really sure that uh, the uh, Academy Awards is just as presentable as you have here. Thank yeah, you again. Okay, we'll see you inside. Thank, Thank you. you. When we return, we'll take a look back at the colorful history of the McGuire's Award, along with many other exciting guests lining the red carpet. So don't go away. We'll be back with more right here on McGuire's Car Crazy. Crazy. Welcome back to the 10th Annual McGuire's Award from the Kodak Theater at Hollywood and Highland. The McGuire's Award was created to honor those individuals whose personal efforts have significantly impacted the quality, visibility, and growth of the collector car hobby. The reason we created Car Crazy Television was to share the passion of those behind the cars with all of you, to better understand this emotional attachment that we all have with the cars, and to spread the incurable disease of car craziness. The McGuire's Award was created to honor the best of the best. The honoree is selected each year by an independent panel of the most prestigious automotive journalists in America, representing top automotive publications such as Automobile Magazine, Motor Trend, and Hemmings. Some have even been guests right here on Car Crazy, including legendary journalist David E. Davis and Brock Yates, author extraordinaire and creator of the Cannonball Run. We are so proud of their brilliant choices and all of our esteemed past recipients. 
The first year we honor Chet Krause, whose Krause Publications is the world's largest publisher of Leisure Time magazines and books, including Old Cars magazine that debuted way back in the early 70s. Then in 1996, Bill Miller and the late Chip Miller were honored together for founding Carlisle Events that host 10 major collector car, truck, and motorcycle events every year and that attract more than 500,000 car crazy people. You know the captain? How you doing? How are you, boss? In 1997, Jay Leno took home the award as one of the most visible enthusiasts who constantly supports events all over and whose night job supports his passion for cars. We honor Jules Human and the late Lauren Tryon in 1998 for making the Pebble Beach Concours d'Elegance the premier concours event in the world and a model for all others to follow. 1999 honoree Bruce Meyer is the most tireless supporter for every facet of the collector car hobby and he sits on the board of numerous charitable associations, including co-chair of the Peterson Automotive Museum. The following year, we honored Robert Peterson, the founder of Hot Rod and Motor Trend Magazine's Peterson Publications. He and his wife Margie have given us the fabulous Peterson Automotive Museum in Los Angeles, dedicated to studying the automobile's influence on our lives and on our culture. The 2001 recipient was none other than J.B. Nethercutt whose Nethercut collection is one of the largest and most prestigious in the world. He has bequeathed a fortune to preserve the collection to keep it open to the public free of charge, so the beauty of the vehicles may be enjoyed and shared forever. 2002's recipient, Bill Warner, is the founder and organizer of the Amelia Island Concours d'Elegance in Jacksonville, Florida, and he has raised millions of dollars for charity while introducing the world of collector cars to millions of people in the Southeast. Last year's honoree was none other than Steve Earle, the father of the vintage racing movement in the United States. Best known for organizing the Monterey Historic Automobile Races, his philosophy is that great race cars should keep doing what they were designed to do, race. This year's winner, Corky Coker, is a shining ambassador for the entire car hobby, from his lobbying efforts at the state and federal level on behalf of the car hobby, to his active role in resurrecting the great race, to his tireless leadership as the chairman of SEMA. Corky Coker is the perfect recipient of this year's McGuire's Award. While there are so many people in the hobby that deserve to be honored, only one can be named the Person of the Year. So a few years ago, we decided to recognize others as treasures of the hobby. Past treasures have included Don Summer, co-founder of the Meadowbrook Concours, Tom Sparks, famous restorer, well known in Hollywood for his movie cars, David Hulls, the GM designer best remembered for those late 50s Cadillac fins, George Barris, the king of customizers, Bobby Dean Rota, who has written and photographed about almost every car event you can imagine. And Terry Eric, who made Hemmings Motor News a virtual Bible of the hobby. Last year, we paid tribute to Wally Parks, the godfather of hot rodding, for having the foresight to open the NHRA Museum, preserving historically important race cars and automobilia. We also honored Bill Hera posthumously, who once had the largest car collection in the world. This year, Julio and Fernando Reyes are being honored for their worldwide influence on low riding and today's tuner market. And Nellie Jackson, matriarch of the largest car auction in the world, the Barrett Jackson Classic Car Auction in Scottsdale, Arizona. At the beginning, the McGuire's Award was held at the Peterson Automotive Museum, but as our guest list grew and we needed more space, we moved our ceremony to the famed Beverly Hills Hotel. Then last year, as the event continued to grow, the McGuire's Award was moved to the Dorothy Chandler Pavilion at the Music Center in Los Angeles. Now, with the celebration of our 10th anniversary and a guest list that has swelled to over 3,500 names, we needed something even larger. Because the celebration is often referred to as the Oscars of the collector car hobby, what better venue to host the show than the renowned Kodak Theater at Hollywood and Highland? One, here we are one more time. Ten times we've done this. Isn't that incredible? Isn't that amazing? But it's gone by so fast. <laughs> it just seems like yesterday. Yeah, since that first since year on the rooftop year, of the Peterson the, Museum. Yes, yes. We, little did we ever dream that we'd be in the Kodak Theater for this event oh, ten years later. And huh? this, this theater is so gorgeous. And, I can't uh, believe it. What's the best part of all this for you? I mean, this crazy life that we live. Oh, it's meeting the people. The people are so wonderful. Just. I know, I love it. I just can't believe it. We just really enlarged our, our friends. 
a whole sphere yeah, of yeah. friends. And they're and they're all over the world. They're all over the world. Yeah. yeah, so. was, yeah. Forty years we've been married doing this traveling a car guy. That's all we've had. A pretty good looking car guy, <laughs> huh? I think I'll keep her. <laughs> Don't go away. There's a whole lot more to come at the 10th Annual McGuire's Award, so stay tuned. Hi, I'm Gary Ruby from Manchester, Maryland, and you're watching Car Crazy right here on Speed. Car Crazy! When you're talking about cars and you're talking about Southern California, you've got to be talking about hot rods. And with that comes the SoCal Speed Shop, the genesis of all speed shops in Southern California. And we're here with Alex Exidius, the founder, the man. The man. And how are you relating to this whole... I'm great. Event? I'm, you know, I'm a car crazy guy myself, Bruce, and this is really something. I remember the night you won this award. It was a nice little banquet we had at the Peterson. Look at this, 3,500 car enthusiasts. Isn't that something? Barry has just made himself proud, I'll tell you. This is a wonderful, wonderful thing. And here we are with the man of the hour, Corky Coker, the 2004 first of the year for the collector car hobby. How does it feel? Oh, man. I tell you, Barry, this is overwhelming to me. I'm just a country boy from Chattanooga, Tennessee yeah, that loves cars, yeah. car crazy. <laughs> you believe this crowd tonight and all these car guys dressed in their finery. I mean, it doesn't look like the typical car guy event. You know, I'm used to seeing these guys with grease under their fingers <laughs> and, you know, with hot rod shirts on, et cetera. But, you know, I'm yeah. seeing some of these guys with, uh, you know, with tuxedos on. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. we've, we've arrived. We're here, baby. We're excited for you. Can't wait to honor you properly. Do you, do you proud inside? Thank you, brother. Well, my involvement with the Peterson Automotive Museum has brought me closer to some very dear friends, Ruth Buzzy Hi. and Ken Perkins. My Ooh. husband. Hello. Your husband? Yes. And 25 a... years we've been married. Really? Uh-huh. And are you as enthusiastic about cars? I have gotten that way. I kept teasing him, teasing him in the beginning, telling him, oh, listen, it's just a bucket of bolts. It's just another bucket of bolts. But I'm beginning to like it. That's right. Uh, we, when we were dating, though, actually, I got her into cars then, and we got matching uh, E-type Jaguars, and we used to drive both cars on dates. So, you know, we didn't want couldn't to figure them. out who wanted to drive, right? <laughs> you right. Both did. Now, are you certifiably car crazy? We have to know that. Well, now I am. Yes, I am uh, car you know. crazy. I am now car crazy. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> I'm gonna spin. Oh, crazy! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> see, I knew if we started talking here a little bit, we'd see the best of Ruthie. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right, now it's time to find out just how car crazy you are. In what year did the Chevrolet bow tie emblem first appear? Was it 1899, 1920, 1913, or 1930? Think you know this one? We'll find out a little later in the show. When we come back, we'll be mixing it up with all the wild folks on the red carpet and find out just how car crazy they really are. So stay tuned, right here on Car Crazy. Welcome back to Car Crazy and the 10th Annual McGuire's Award from the Kodak Theater at Hollywood and Highland. Carson Lev here is a friend of mine. He's from Hot Wheels, Mattel. You know, all these little cars, we all started playing with little cars when we were little kids. And today it's become a huge phenomenon. Just how many cars does Hot Wheels sell now at Mattel? We do about 300 million a year. 300 million toy cars a year. I mean, it's awesome. And to see the, the uh, display over at the Peterson Automotive right. Museum and some of the new cars, now they're starting to build real cars out of the toy cars. Right, we've done that twice now. We built the Twin Mill, which was a two-motored car designed by Ira Guilford. And then last year, at our 35th anniversary, we debuted the uh, Diora 2, which was designed by Nathan Proach. So what do you think of the 10th Annual McGuire's Award? I mean, Kodak Theater. It's awesome. I mean, you can't get better than this, you know, right here in L.A. Uh, with Barry and his crew, they always do a great job. I'm, I'm glad to be here. I've wanted to come to this for many years. I finagled an invitation, so uh, Barry took care of me. I'm really happy to be here. Carson Lev from Mattel, Mr. Hot Wheels. <laughs> We're here with David the Fishman Rivera, who is one of the car craziest guys I know. Great to have you here, man. Thank you, thank you for having us out here. I left LA 10 years ago, and 10 years after I'm here in the red carpet <laughs> with our car, because my wife keeps singing to me that Fishman is car crazy, so we have to put it on top of the car. And I can't believe this, it's unbelievable to know that all these guys are so car crazy. I run next to George Paris here, the, the Batmobile car, and he's gonna get to sit in my car. So I mean, I'm like blown away, unreal. 
And tomorrow morning you're out on Rodeo Drive Rodeo for the Concord Drive. there. Rodeo Drive, not bad for this Puerto Rican, huh? All the way from Puerto Rico now to Rodeo Drive, baby. David uh, came to us uh, and brought us, Carl, all the way out from Daytona Beach, Florida. So you went to a lot trip. of effort to be here. Worth the trip? It's worth the trip. <laughs> the, we brought the car at 7 o'clock in the morning. Since we parked the car, it's been packed the whole time. And I'm like, oh, my God, we left. We got back at 4 o'clock, and there's like 50 people. I got, like, all security people, like, pushing people around. I'm like, wow, thank you so much. I'm here, and you know what? This is one of many cars you guys are going to keep seeing. There's a lot more to come, guys. When you're talking automobiles, you're talking about motors, you're talking about motor trend, you're talking about a guy that's done it all, Mike Hansen. Hi, Bruce. Hey, this is great. You know, the car hobby gets everybody together. This is terrific. We see everybody from low riders to hot riders and guys like us old car guys around. I'm absolutely car crazy. I have so many cars. I now have 11 cars. I'm trying to triple stack them in my garage. We're here now with Nellie and her son, Craig Jackson. What do you think about the 10th Annual McGuire's Award this year at the Kodak Theater? Oh, it's going to be awesome, I'm sure. The best ever. Craig, what do you think about it? Oh, this is great. Man, I thought the Dorothy Chandler was huge. This is even bigger. I'm just wondering where they can go from here. I don't know that there is anything bigger and better than the uh, Kodak Theater. Again, it's the Collector Car Hobby Person of the Year, the 10th Annual. It's our Academy Awards. All right, guys, thanks a lot, and uh, go have fun inside the 10th Annual McGuire's Award. As chairman of the Peterson Automotive Museum, I can tell you that the greatest event we've ever had was when we honored the Lowrider exhibit. And the founders and the kind of the creators of the Lowriders, as far as I'm concerned, are the Ruelas brothers, Fernando and Julio. Tell us how this all came about. Well, with, with the older brothers, Julio, and my brother Oscar, they, they formed people together back in 1962. And to get away from the notorious 38th Street gang, we decided to go into cars. With the Hot Riders, they would strip everything off, and you guys would go with every option made. Right, we go to, uh, to the max, to the original look, uh, as far as the low riding, putting out their accessories, the uh, sun visor, the, the skirts, uh, the hubcaps, the spinners on there. The or coolers, the evaporative co coolers. Record players, Vibersonic, color bars. Hey. Well, you guys are treasures of the hobby and treasures to Los Angeles and treasures to all of us. And I just want to say thanks for everything. Thank you for you. having us here. Uh, uh, Barry, you know, there's a lot of rivalry between Detroit and Los Angeles as far as cars are concerned. But recently, in the last few weeks, there's been another kind of rivalry that uh, was settled uh, just recently. And I'm happy to say that the Detroit Pistons oh, no. became oh, no. victorious. And oh, I no. just want you to have this <laughs> as your very own memento oh, yeah. of the Motor City vanquishing. <laughs> Does the it say it on the back? And I kind of, NBA chance, uh, they could still think that's the Lakers, couldn't they? Just like. <laughs> We're here now with George Gray. Junkyard Wars, and now the weakest link. Nicely done. Dude, I mean, you were over in England when Junkyard Wars was the real deal. Now it's gone. What's going on? Like the pseudo deal? No, I actually, I was telling you right before we started this, is that I took Junkyard Wars because I just wanted to go race. I seriously, they, uh, my agent said, you can go over and we'll, they'll give you a flat in London, give you some cash, and you can race stuff. And I went, oh my God, it's a dream come true. And it actually became a huge hit. Car crazy guy like you, what do you think of the McGuire's Award? Oh, man. I've been here for two seconds. This car behind us is genius with the checker print on it. It's, amazing. it's obnoxious, just like me. Look that's, at that shirt, man. That's, that's beautiful. So I'm in heaven. I just I love anything to do with engines. If, if a toothbrush had an engine, I'd have cleaner teeth. Hey, thanks. Car much, guy, man. buddy. Hey, thanks for coming out for the Wars. Thanks, everybody. All right. When we return, we'll find out which year the first Chevrolet bow tie emblem appeared. So stay tuned. Right here on Car Crazy. Car Crazy. So, which year did the first Chevrolet bow tie emblem appear? Chevrolet's trademark bow tie emblem first appeared in 1913, after its creator, William C. Durant, had seen it on some wallpaper in a French hotel in 1908. After tearing a piece of wallpaper off and showing it to some friends, he had remarked that the symbol would make a good nameplate for a car. <laughs> and if you knew this obscure bit of trivia, you must be car crazy. Well, what would a car event be without Tomiko and Big Willie? Now, why would they call you Big Willie? Oh, uh, six, six, 300 pounds. That's big. You know, we're talking tonight about the people of the car hobby. We're talking about the Dukes, which is a lowrider group. And again, that's taking people out of the gangs and 
into the hobby. And tell us a little bit about your philosophy on that. Since day one, when uh, the Los Angeles Police Department organized us, our one of our divisions is the low rider division. And so at our raceway, we have low riders, the bikers, the hot rodders, the mini hot rodders, just everybody coming together and bringing peace. That's one thing when it comes to wheels, everybody I can identify with wheels, male, female, whatever, black, white, brown, yellow, everybody. When you got that motor oil running through your body, are you certifiably car crazy? <laughs> and now, once again, Barry McGuire. You know, being car crazy is a worldwide phenomenon. Uh, David writes to us from Oklahoma, I have enjoyed your car crazy program for several years. I really enjoy the interviews with the great people associated with the hobby. Your program is world class and should include more of the world. After all, car crazes is a worldwide illness. I'd like to see you travel to other countries to focus on the world's great auto museums, collections, and the people behind them. When I go to Europe and Canada, I make it a point to visit the auto museums and the places I travel. I have never been disappointed. Well, I say yay and amen to you, David. Uh, I've had the same experience. Uh, because of our business, uh, we travel all over the world. We sponsor more than a thousand car shows outside of the United States. And I've often talked about in third world countries, uh, how the hobby is so alive and well. I mean, it just, it's amazing. I've yet to find a country where it's not. Uh, everywhere we go, we find car guys. We are going to be doing uh, a lot more with our television show overseas. We uh, have featured uh, already Lynn Southward, who just passed away, uh, but he had this incredible uh, car collection museum in uh, New Zealand. But in Canada, in Europe, uh, we are sponsoring the uh, McGuire's Award in the, in the UK this year. So we'll be there with our cameras. We'll be going to Modena. We just were at Retromobile, which is the great trade show for car collectors. And we brought the people of Retromobile to you in, in, a, in a past episode. So um, you're quite right. Thank you for encouraging us to do that. And uh, because of your encouragement and uh, what we're hearing from a lot of our viewers, we're going to be doing more and more of that in the weeks and months ahead. So stay tuned, uh, and you're going to see a lot of very interesting people right here on McGuire's Car Crazy. Be sure to tune in next week for the presentation of the 2004 McGuire's Award, honoring the person of the year for the collector car hobby. You don't want to miss this. For more information on how you can attend next year's Meguiar's Award, log on to carcrazycentral.com.